Xeno launched the attack. Goku and Vegeta closed their eyes. Their soul started to merge. Before the attack could hit them they fused. The attack got dispersed. Xeno was shocked. A new being has appeared. Let's call this fusion Gojta. Gojta's power was immense. The impact from this power burst sent Xeno flying. Gojta rushed towards Zeno and started attacking him. Zeno dodged all attacks and punched Gojta. Gojta before getting pushed away from Zeno due to that punch left an energy blast. When Gojta was sent flying the energy blast exploded and damaged Zeno. Seeing Zeno guard was down Gojta rushed and kicked him, making his moments unstable from impact. Gojta's each attacks had evil aura in it which was most effect counter against for Zeno. Their power were weakening a seal, a seal that locked away a divine being. Someone no being can ever defeat. A dimensional threat. Something which could lead to great problems for Gojta. Zeno realized it and decided to get over with this battle as soon as possible. He could just return everything back with Super Dragon Ball. After he defeat Gojta, Zeno uses his full power. This caused all universes to get destroyed. Only Super Dragon Balls were left. Seeing this Gojta was calm. Both rushed towards each other. Zeno was damaging Gojta quite a lot but Gojta just kept healing. Gojda suddenly sensed a powerful presence, even more powerful than Zeno. This made Gojda sweat and Gojda used his 100%. Gojda appeared right in front of and started attacking Zeno. For some reason Zeno power was decreasing bit by bit, whereas Gojda power was increasing. Gojda used ultimate dark Kamehameha burst on Zeno. The attack obliterated both of Zeno arms. Before Zeno could figure out what happened, Gojda focused most of his energy in one attack. When Zeno saw Gojta, Gojta had dense and Ajai focused in his fist. Before it could hit Zeno, Zeno used Omni Judgment. Many chains came in front of Zeno and blocked the attack, and also wrapped all around Gojta, starting to drain his power. This technique used most of Zeno energy which was said to be endless. Gojta before too much of his energy was absorbed used Limit Breaker. This overwhelming power broke all the chains. Gojta used Eternal Death, Blue Flames and Chains of Isolation on Zeno to bind him. This used 50% of Gojda's energy. Gojda used the time to prepare a final attack to finish Zeno. Gojda prepared his most powerful technique demolishing Stardust Breaker. Before Zeno could free himself Gojda used his attack which hit Zeno. Zeno screamed in pain and started to get erased. The mysterious man contacted Gojda and told him to go to the location where he's feeling immense energy coming from before Zeno is completely erased. Gojda with his insane speed reached there. He saw four pillars and a dimensional gap at the center. This power was increasing with every second. This started to open small gaps in dimensions. Before these gaps g bigger enough for someone to trespass. Mysterious man said Gojta to infuse his energy into the portals. Gojta was confused but did as he said. Gojta used all of the energy he had left to infuse with the pillars. The portal started to close. After a while of effort the portal was back to how it was unstable. For some reason Gojda felt his energy draining continuously, and was in his ultra form. The man explained that a divine being who no one in this dimension could defeat was sealed away. Zeno was linked to this portal. His energy kept this thing in check. But when he started fighting most of his energy was being used against you so the portal started to weaken. But now you are connected to it so there won't be any disruption. Until you want, Gojda asked who it was that was sealed away. The man told him about the Nemec god Zalama who made Super Dragon Ball. G. Fojta was excited and wanted to fight him, but was warned by the man to not try it. He was too weak to face Zamala now. Gojta then collected all the Dragon Balls and wished everything to be restored as it was before Goku, and Vegeta came out. Everyone was revived. All the mortals were confused about what happened. Their planet exploded suddenly and now they were alive. Miris knew they were revived by Super Dragon Balls. Gohan, Goten, Trunks and Piccolo were also revived and they were confused too. Hart and his team were also back. Gojda felt Zamasu presence and teleported there. Piccolo was shocked to see Gojda, but something was off. Gojda saw Hart and his team. He asked Zamasu how he was back. Hart had many questions and with the way Gojda was all calm. He knew Gojda knew something so he asked him if he knew something happened. Gojda didn't even pay any attention to him. This made Hart angry. 
He attacked Gojta. Suddenly Gojta was behind him and heart was down. Broly and Miris also reached there. Broly saw Gojta and knew who he was but something was different. Gojta was emanating evil aura. Gojta saw Broly and Miris. He came up with a plan to keep Multiverse in check. Since gods, angels and kais were no longer there, Miris knew something happened to deities. He couldn't sense anyone's key. Heart team attacked Gojta but Gojta in his base was enough to defeat them all in one go. Heart seeing how powerful Gojta was told him to join them to defeat Omni King, so they could release all mortals from terror of getting erased. But Gojta with a cold expression told him that Xeno was already dead, including all other deities. Everyone there couldn't believe what Gojta said. Heart with his ambition gone didn't know what to do now. Goten and Trunks reached Gojta and asked if he was their father's fusion. Gojta with a kind smile said yes. Goten and Trunks were happy and showed their god form. Miris was still in a complete disbelief. Gojta asked Gohan, Broly and Miris if they could keep Multiverse in check. They were shocked with Gojda's request. Gojda told them that he will train them to become more powerful to do it, and explained the situation. They were still in confusion how he got out. Gojda told them he will tell them everything but later. Gojda offered Hart a chance to live. He wants Hart to keep the mortals in check, so they don't do anything stupid in absence of gods. Hart agreed. After that Gojda took everyone back to Earth and had a reunion with his family. Piccolo was still confused why he was still fused, even after so much time passed. Apparently this was a permanent fusion that they performed. Gojda after a family reunion, upgraded time chamber himself. This was even more powerful than the angelic time chamber. Every second in this time chamber was equal to 100 years. Meanwhile Gohan reached planet Nank and fished for Piccolo, Broly and himself to become immortal as Gojta said. After that they started to train. Goten and Trunks also wanted to but were told that they could after an year. They entered and came out after spending 500 years inside it. The time chamber was completely different. It had some weird energy which was unknown to those three. Goads to train them to become the next gods of multiverse. Broly will become the destroyer, destroying planets only if necessary and keeping all mortals in check. Gohan to become Kai and create planets. Gohan had also taken training from Zemasu even if Zemasu didn't want to, and Piccolo to keep Super Dragon Balls in check. Miris didn't wanted to get involved with Goats after knowing what he did, so was going to be no angel for a while. Broly revived his friends with Earth Dragon Balls, and Gojta decided to become the new king of the multiverse. Gojta reached near the seal, and started meditating to increase his power, using most of his energy in keeping up the seal, and making sure the seal is safe. Gohan reached all the universes explaining mortals from Tournament of Power what happened to the deities, and told them to not cause any trouble or they would be erased. Many mortals ignored Gohan's warning. They started going to other planets conquering them as there was no destroyer to keep them in check, or so they thought but were erased by Broly. Everything went on smoothly after that. Gojta was training to get strong enough to defeat the invincible being, fighting Xeno countless times in his mind. Time passed by, many years later. Goten and Trunks also became immortals. Trunks became destroyer and Goten became Akai. The universe was now balanced. No mortal dared to cause trouble. Time passed Bulma, Chichai and other Z fighters died. Pan was old. Peace was maintained in the multiverse. But who knows for how long it will last. Thanks for suppositing this series. If you liked it be sure to subscribe. What if Goku decide to become the new Omni King? Next time on Anime Theories.